Whoa, so this big hydra called the artificial intelligence is suddenly here and almost every writer, blogger, v-blogger, uh, columnist, anyone who's got a pen and paper on his hand is now all out going ballistic talking about all that is going to do to every human being on planet earth, going to have no jobs, going to get replaced. What is it, Terminator? And all those uh, robots taking over planet Earth? You know, you know why I have reacted so far? Because let me tell you something, I was, I was born in an era of the gramophone. You know, the gramophone? The one thing that you put a record player, record on and you handle, spun a handle so that the spring wound up and then you put this huge heavy looking stylus on it and then it started playing music and that was the only invention worth its weight of salt to talk about when I was born. And over the years I have moved from a gramophone to the iPhone and far beyond. And let me tell you, if anyone has seen inventions and innovations at from a turtle speed to a breakneck speed, it's our generation. And with everything, whether it was this manual typewriter, which suddenly became an elect electrical or electronic typewriter, I don't remember what or which, and then it then moved into, a, turning, turned into a computer with a keyboard, and then now typing on a flat screen. All this talk about cars, you know, the old Fiat, the Ambassador, the Herald, it was pushed more than it was accelerated. And then that moved to some high-tech cars, the SUVs, now the electric cars. We've seen them all. And let me tell you, we've also seen what are the fears of the unknown that drove the human mind all along with every invention with every, every innovation. You know what, what everyone today is doing about AI? It's like, I recall when we were young boys, uh, there used to be these anti-social elements or some anti-religionists, I think that's what they were, they used to call themselves, would walk around with placards that said, the world is coming to an end. The world is coming to an end. And we would have nightmares after nightmares still we suddenly realize the world is not coming to an end, has it? Here am I and there are you and there's no end of the world. Let me tell you, man is the most superior being on planet earth. It knows how to, how to invent, it knows how to innovate, he knows how to work, make it work to his advantage and he also knows how to destroy it if it doesn't. And I have seen it. All these seven decades I've walked on planet Earth. I've seen it. What doesn't work gets replaced. What is not good for mankind, what's not good for your mental capabilities, what's not good for your physical existence has always faded away quite so suddenly. So I don't think that you, anyone, should be getting so hit up about about artificial intelligence and should not start basing their entire you know mindset the health of their mindset on that constant productive time that you spend needlessly going through all those social media handles to keep telling you what a disaster humanity is going to be facing very very soon now just to help you along I said, well, instead of me telling you about the disasters, let me talk about a power-up framework that I've crafted just for you. The power-up framework. Welcome, welcome back to the musings of an old maverick. Welcome back to the archives of my life. Now, what is this power-up framework that I've crafted for you, just for you? Let's take it step by step. Power up. Power, P. Plug into your ecosystem. Do you know that we all have this tendency to ignore the ecosystem because we hate change. We actually do. 
And as we don't plug into it constantly, the environment, the ecosystem, is constantly changing just as change is a constant. And eventually what's going to happen to you is that this changed ecosystem in its new, advanced avatar will eventually swallow you because you are now not even there. Plug it to your ecosystem. Number two, oh, open your mind to change being a constant. Let's face it, change is a constant. I just said that. Change is a constant. Enjoy it. Flow with it. Be part of it. Ride its crest. The more you accept change in your life, the more you rise up to the change, your mindset will become a absolutely powerful, laser-focused growth mindset. And that's what you need to be able to survive in an ever-changing, evolving ecosystem. Point number three, work on self-development. Dr. Carol Dweck, a psychologist with Stanford, once said, what's well, been a fantastic comparison between the fixed mindset and a growth mindset. A fixed mindset has all necessary talents, abilities, intelligence, whatever have you, for a very successful existence. But the problem with fixed mindset was that it believed that these assets could not be further developed and therefore uh, there is a level of inefficiency a human being finally gets into as the ecosystem changes. But the growth mindset recognizes these, recognizes these important assets and also believes that the right amount of teaching and upskilling, it can actually match very easily to changing ecosystems and show much larger experience, much larger and higher levels of efficiency. Now the choice really is yours, whether you want to maintain a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. Number four. E. Embrace new skills. Constantly. You know, I, I, I don't live in the gramophone era anymore. And I, I, and I know that. From that nerd who would be watching a, a turntable, a, a record spin on the turntable. I have reached a level today where I have completely automated my entire business. Matching the requirements of the ecosystem that I live in today. So you've got to keep upskilling yourself. And I upskill myself seven decades on planet Earth and every year I grabbed an opportunity to constantly upskill myself and here I am. So the choice again is yours. Do you want to stay on with what you've learned days ago, years ago, decades ago or do you want to constantly Expand that level of intelligence inside you, day in and day out. Choice is yours. Number five, repeatedly keep changing the inner circle of your contacts or connects. Let's face it, you will always be the average of the five people that you mingle or move around with. And as long as you want to successfully ride on that crest, keep changing your connects with people who are successfully riding that crest too, not with those who have decided to jump off the bandwagon. It doesn't work that way. Now, let me come up with two important bonus points for you. Power up, UP. Now, the bonus two for you. The first one, you. Ultimately, you matter. And that is very, very important. You know, when I, when I was very young, once my mom sat me down and taught me something very, very important. She said, there are three, three words, three words which are very, very important in your life and you have to stick by them. And the three words were, I am responsible. You are responsible for everything that happens in your life. You're responsible for your happiness, your sorrows, your tears, your joys, the kind of people you have in your life, 
kind of relationships you maintain. You are responsible for everything that's happening in your life. You are responsible for your failures and you are responsible for your success. You see, one never misses a boat. A lot of people, you know, whenever you ask, oh, I missed that boat, I missed that boat. Frankly, you never miss the boat because you are the boat. The choice is yours to either sink or stay afloat. And finally, the last point of the bonus round of this entire power up framework that I've crafted for you, it is P. Pen progress on paper. Pen progress on paper. Let me tell you, this is one of the most powerful things that I do in the entire day. Just before I go to sleep, I take my diary, my journal, and I journal in everything that happened during the day. I journal in all the failures that I faced and the reasons for it, and all the successes I achieved and the reason for it. And I also pen in how I would like to see myself, my, uh, an improved version of myself the next day when the sun rises. And I also therefore add a couple of new notches to my present existence and when the sun rises i'm ready to go with an absolutely new mindset brimming literally brimming with growth hungry to create amazing things absolutely laser focused on what i want to finally achieve in life in a constantly changing ecosystem. Nothing new about that. So for me, I don't give a damn whether AI comes in with all its, all the hullabaloo that all these writers and podcasters and flea bloggers and everybody under the sun is writing about. Those are fears of the unknown because I'm not really seeing that sort of thing actually happening. They're all projecting it. Oh, not now. Five years from now. Ten years from now. Fifteen years from now. Twenty years from now. Hell with it. Live in the now. Live in the now. Do the best you can with what you have. Believe me, like I said in earlier in this entire podcast, we are a superior race. We know what is good for us and what isn't. And let me tell you, I've been there, done it, and experienced it all. Seven decades, the world still hasn't come to an end. And neither has this amazing capacity to think anew all the time with human intelligence in place ever died out. This is Anand Nair signing off for now and I'm going to see you very soon. Please do share this vlog with all your friends if you think it's really worth it. And of course, do let me know what you think about it. I would love, absolutely love to hear your comments. Well then, ciao for now.